Hey everyone, welcome to this week's vlog. Uh, listen, we are just coming off a uh, week and weekend of some really awesome Life Bringer gatherings. Uh, spending time with people, getting to see people in person, uh, getting to listen to God together, listen to God with one another, uh, and to dream and pray about the future of our church was just so good. It was so rich. Uh, man, just listening to people and what God's been telling them, the stories that they're experiencing, the way God is showing up was so powerful, so encouraging. Uh, and so it actually has become a little bit of the outline for today's vlog. One of the things that we want to always be true of us is that we're listening to God. And we can listen to God alone, and that's really awesome. We can do that in the scripture. We can do it with uh, practices like what we learned a couple weeks ago from Claudia in the prayer of indifference as we try to set down our preferences, our opinions, uh, the critics, and the many, many voices that seem to want to chime in and speak when we're trying to listen to God. In fact, we did this uh, at our Lifebringer gatherings this past week. Uh, it was really awesome to just spend some time. Everybody said, you know, this is, brings calm, it brings quiet, it brings some peace, and it's challenging, but God speaks when we give him our full attention. Uh, and so uh, one of the best first steps that we can do in listening to God is to listen to God alone, to create space and, and be quiet. But in our meetings, we, we learned a couple of other ways to do this as well. As rich as the experience of just listening to God alone was, it got even better when we started to talk about it together. As we kind of debriefed what happened, what was the challenges of finding quiet and listening for God's voice? What were some of the things that God was asking us to set aside or uh, to deprioritize so that we could hear more clearly what God was up to in each of us and in all of us together? It was great. So we can listen alone, we can listen together, and then we did some storytelling. Uh, we looked back at the last six months and talked about what God has been up to. And the cool thing is, is when you put these three things together, listening alone, listening together, and listening in circumstance, you kind of get to draw a picture, see a map, find patterns and themes of things oh, all along that just kind of pop out. It's like, oh man, God has been saying this for a while now. God's been doing this for a while now. And we kind of catch up and join in on all that he has been up to. Uh, so these kind of listening, uh, of listening alone, listening together, and listening in circumstance and in story, uh, these are ways that we can offer our friends, our family, we can look at our own life and explore what it seems like God is up to. Because we know, we know he's always up to something. But there's something really cool in the gatherings that we got to have. It was really kind of the beginning of us doing that in a fresh way together. You know, life bringers are folks that we just care deeply about what God is doing in Las Vegas through the people called Canyon Ridge. We know God's up to lots of things, but we don't want to miss out on anything that he's inviting us to be a part of. We also know that COVID-19 changed a lot of things and that God has never stopped working. He hasn't been frustrated. He hasn't been tapping his foot, waiting for things to go back in any way, shape or form. God is always up to a new thing, bringing his kingdom in fresh ways, teaching us things that we maybe never could have learned any other way. And so it's awesome to gather with other people who care deeply about Jesus and what he's doing in our church to listen together. In fact, I wanna invite you to a way that we're gonna continue doing that. We'll have more gatherings in the future in case you weren't able to be at this one, but so that we can continue the conversation, we've started a Facebook group, a Life Bringers Facebook group. Unlike our page, which is mostly about getting information out, this is about bringing in and listening to all of us and what God is seeming to say across our church. And as we listen to one another, encourage one another, inspire one another, pray for one another, uh, we will get uh, to hear more and more and see more and more clearly what God is up to. Like when Charlie, that's right, Charlie, I'm calling you out, man. When Charlie tells you the Milkbone ministry story, you're going to be stoked and inspired and pray for him. When you hear what's going on in Kim's family with Discovery Bible Study and Zoom and how God is making impact in multiple states, you'll be so filled up and God may inspire you to take a different kind of action before as we listen to Isaiah 43, 19 from Shauna or hear what Dina has to say about how the kingdom moves forward where needs are expressed and met. Uh, there's so much we all have to offer one another. So I don't want to miss out on any of that. And I want to invite all of you, jump into the Life, Bro uh, Life Bringers Facebook group and let's, let's listen and speak together. Let's listen to God alone, quieting ourselves for what he wants. Let's listen together as we talk about what we're hearing from God. And let's listen in circumstance and story as we spur one another on and see all that God has in mind for this next season of Canyon Ridge.
I sure hope you'll lend your voice because everything I've heard for the last three or four days is so rich and full of God's spirit. Let's offer our very, very best to one another and see God do amazing things here in Las Vegas. We'll see you soon.